bite-sized pumpkin pie with no baking required. These easy pumpkin pie flavored energy bites are ready in 15 minutes or less. A great snack at home, freezer friendly, and perfect for taking on the go. Hello, I'm Catherine, Brian's behind the camera, and pumpkin spice, need I say more? You love it, I love it, the leaves are changing outside and that means we're ready for it. So hit that subscribe button if you're ready to make these with me. We've actually showcased these once before on this channel, but it was in our how to make energy energy balls video, where I break down the fundamentals of how to create these protein balls, energy balls, bliss balls, whatever you want to call them. And I set you up with the basics for how to create these bite-sized snacks in really any flavor of your desire. I was actually even challenged by one of you to create a chocolate chili flavored energy ball in that video on the fly. Flavor is? Flavor is? Chili. From Cat in Belgium. Cat in Belgium, chili flavored. Paired with maybe something sweet like chocolate. Ooh, spicy chocolate. Challenge accepted. Although we showcased these in that video as one of our favorite flavors, we didn't actually make them for you then. So the base for these is full of protein and healthy fats from walnuts, pecans, and oats. The sweetness comes from pitted dates, which I'm going to soften for a few minutes in warm water to make them easier to blend, and one and a half tablespoons tablespoons of maple syrup or another liquid sweetener. Today, I'm actually using date syrup. The pumpkin flavor comes from pure pumpkin puree and the spice comes from one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin spice blend. On that note, you can buy a pre-blended pumpkin spice blend, but if you have cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger in your pantry already, then you can just make your little homemade spice blend. No need to buy something else. Here's how to make pumpkin pie energy balls. In your food processor, blitz half a cup walnuts, a quarter cup pecans, and one cup oats into a coarse mixture. Don't overprocess them yet because there is still more blending to be done. Add half a cup pitted and softened Daglet Noor dates, one and a half tablespoons maple syrup. Today, I'm actually using date syrup half a cup of pure pumpkin puree, and one and a half teaspoon pumpkin spice or a combination of one and a quarter teaspoon cinnamon, quarter teaspoon nutmeg, and a pinch of ground ginger. Pulse to combine the mixture until it starts to form a ball in the food processor. If the mixture seems too wet, add more oats, walnuts, or pecans. If it's too dry, add more pumpkin or a splash of the water the date's soaked in. Using a small cookie scoop or tablespoon, scoop the dough and roll it between your palms to form a smooth ball store in a sealed container in the fridge for one to two weeks or in the freezer for longer. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this right. is our like first pumpkin spice of the season. Cheers. I think that's cheers worthy. I think so. Check out our video on the pumpkin spice latte. I think it's a criminally underrated recipe Catherine's <laughs> created. And you're using real pumpkin puree. How cool is that? Yeah, I would have thought you had to make a syrup or something. But with your leftover pumpkin puree, make yourself a pumpkin spice latte. They mm. smell so good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Doesn't crumble, holds <laughs> together. This is awesome. So easy. I feel like we barely even filmed anything for this video. <laughs> the video was over, it was like poof. I don't always toast the nuts for these, and these are still delicious when your nuts are not toasted, but whenever you wanna just go a little extra with a baked good, or even your morning oatmeal, toast the nuts that you put on them. It's like such a huge flavor booster. It's crazy how much that tastes like pumpkin pie. It feels like I'm having a pumpkin pie bite. And when you have the toasted nuts, it almost feels like you get a little bit of pie crust in there. Kind of like the piece of the pie that you get where you get like the last bit of filling and then the crust. And that's kind of what this is like. That's super descriptive. And <laughs> exactly what you mean. If you're a pumpkin fan, this is so good. One thing is that if you have a food processor, it makes making energy balls way easier. You can make these in a blender. You might just have to stop more often and do more scraping. You could potentially make these without a machine at all. If you're able to grind everything up as fine as you can, you might need a bit more dry ingredients to kind of get it to the right kind of moisture ratio. I do have one kind of energy ball. It's our peanut butter chickpea energy ball. And that one I make totally from hand. So by hand, from hand, by hand. That one make I make. It with your hands. <laughs> yes, just brute force to mash the chickpeas. Channeling and... that Portuguese ancestry and just <laughs> So it is possible to make these 
by hand without a machine, but it makes it a lot easier to have a machine. This recipe makes 18 to 20 smaller energy balls and cost me just under $3. That works out to about 17 cents per energy ball. And these are a little smaller than ones that you probably buy at a cafe, although but I don't know. You'd pay but... more than $3.25 per energy ball at a cafe. <laughs> yeah, no, usually like a big one, a bigger energy ball for sure. So these are so great to, like I said, I freeze them, just toss them into a container, take them on the go with you. They're great for little kids. You can make them nut free. You could potentially use like oats and sunflower seeds and they'll taste a little different, but you can make them school safe if that's something you have to do. Energy balls are so easy to customize to your liking and always just kind of have around when you need a snack. These are amazing. I could eat them all, but oh, that's just because I'm me. Yes. <laughs> you will have, yeah, leftover, was that what you were gonna say? Boom, great minds, take <laughs> okay. a like. Take what are it we away. doing with the rest of this pumpkin puree? Catherine? I don't know, what do you wanna make? We have one pumpkin dog treat and then one that's sweet potato that you can totally make with pumpkin. Everybody loves those, try them out. We have a pumpkin hummus. Super easy, I think there's a polenta on there. The pumpkin pie parfaits. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna eat one more of these. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, share, all of those things that help our channel to grow. And uh, drink your pumpkin puree. <laughs> yeah.